Lens pan. Clean it. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Good Life. Today's episode is a little bit of a mashup of a couple of things that we've done already, okay? We've got the three amigos here, the three musketeers, yep. the three Asians with the massive persuasions, and we are going on a burger so adventure, right? This is like burger hunt meets Yelp it out, and it, it's all in celebration of this guy's birthday. He is 21 years of age again today, okay? And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. Each one of us has picked a spot. And so this is where it comes into play. We're gonna randomly select who gets to go first, and then when we get to that spot, that person gets to choose one burger for the three of us to share. Um, so what, the way we're gonna pick is we're gonna do the very traditional method of how it's called in Korean is kai bai bo. You white people call it paper rock scissors. Okay, it's supposed to be kai bai bo. Okay, like that. So and we all go on three, and we'll sort of in the moment determine who gets to be the winner. Ready? Here we go. Kai bai bo. <laughs> I feel miserably. I'm gonna bow out and say that I lost that round. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Oh, Birthday Luke's boy. first pick, huh? Boy. It worked out, worked out. What did I choose? Uh, ye okay, so Luke's pick is called Buns. Oh, that's the With a Z. With a Z. Buns, buns all right? With a Z. We don't want none unless you got Buns. Honey. Honey. So we're gonna go check out Buns. All these spots are relative to each other in Orange County. So we are ready to go. We're gonna head out there and check it out. Let's do it! All right, so we just got finished destroying the pastrami burger at Buns. This thing was incredible. And of course, we added an egg on top. They recommend it, so you know, who are we to say no to the recommendation? But we went with that. We did some chili cheese tots. Um, it was super, super great. Luke, what was your take on it? Like, a first bite, what were you thinking? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. It's actually in the description underneath it. That's all it said. So it's just holy crap. Holy crap. No, yeah. it was really good. I, first, I didn't, I didn't miss any bacon. Like normally, I'd get a bacon, oh, yeah. some bacon on that burger, but that pastrami was awesome. Uh, Derek, what did you think? What were your thoughts? Yeah, the grilled onions were really good. Mm -hmm. They're actually really sweet. Or I don't know if there was something on there that was sweet, but there was a lot of sweetness coming through, which was good. Um, it really made the spice on the pastrami stand out, I mm -hmm. think. I mean, it was fantastic. Yeah, so good. It, that was one of the best parts about it is like the patty was seasoned very, very well, but there were bites where that thing was gone <coughs> and all you're left with is the pastrami and that was not a bad thing at all. I mean, the, no. the, the combo of those two meats helped to make sure that every bite was covered. And oh my gosh, dude, this is so, so incredibly enjoyable. It fell apart. Yeah. I didn't even care. It was so good. No. So now Derek and I are gonna go <coughs> And this is how we're gonna do it. Luke's gonna pick a number between oh, one, we paper, scissors again. between one and ten. Up. See, I throw, I throw things off. <laughs> Whoever's closer numerically uh, to his number that he has chosen will now get to pick the next place. So, Luke, do you have your number? Yes. Between one and ten. Yep. Okay, Derek. Since you are the guest, oh, you can pick first. This unless you'd no. rather rescind that right. Yeah, you can go first. Okay, I pick seven. Really? Yeah. It's seven. Is it a cycle? <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't even need to go there. <laughs> okay, this was like planned in advance, most likely. <laughs> so my pick that uh, we're going to go to next is called The Stand. And there's actually a few locations of this burger place. Oops. But my goodness, we are going to stand okay. with arms high and hearts abandoned as we enjoy delicious burger from this place. Let's go.
So we just finished up stop number two at a burger spot here in Irvine called The Stand. Uh, Luke and I have actually been here before. This is Derek's first time. So I gave him the great pleasure and privilege of choosing. He picked a French onion burger. Now, Derek, why did you pick the French onion burger? I'm a fan of the French onion soup and of the burger. The so French onion soup. Some things don't go well together. <laughs> this went well together. Mm -hmm. yep. It was a merging of cultures, yes. and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. they, they gave us a side of French onion soup to dip in, mm. like a French dip. It's like a yep. French onion soup dip, dip burger. burger. Mm. Oh gosh, it was so good. The third spot, this is our uh, last burger location that we're gonna visit today. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been trying to pick burger places that just have one word names. So we started off at Luke's Buns, and then we went over and we took a stand. And mm -hmm. now this last place that we're going to is just up the road, eight minutes. It's called The Cut. Check it out. Same way there. So we just finished our third burger spot. Uh, it was called The Cut. So we went to Buns, The Stand, and The Cut. So we went here, we shared a burger, and we shared some poutine. Mm -hmm. But Derek's gonna tell you about both of those. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got kind of the gourmet burger, seemed mm -hmm. fitting. Uh, do you remember what it's called? The, the Grand, Grand Cut. The Grand Cut, that's right. Mm -hmm. So kind of fitting, you know, it's a fancy place, fancy burger, so it had braised pork, bacon jam, and a mixture of two cheeses that I forgot, done as fondue and dumped mm -hmm. over the burger, which was not over the bun, but over the burger, but on top. It was fantastic. So um, and then the poutine was actually kind of a riff on it. So instead of gravy, they did <clears throat> chimichurri sauce. There was mozzarella and brisket. And it was yes. delightful. We wanted to round off this evening because usually whenever I'm done eating sort of a, a, a bigger meal or a really sort of rich meal like this, I just kind of need to flush the palate a little bit with something sweet. Uh, so no, we're going to get these all. fish cones and they fill them with ice cream and toppings and stuff. We'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. Let's go ahead and head on over. What a sweet finish to an incredible day together for Luke's birthday burger extravaganza. We hit three incredible spots, and to top it off, we went to a, we all believe it's a taiyaki style dessert place, yep. where they make these fish-shaped waffle cones, and they stuff with deliciousness, and then top with ice cream, and then top with toppings. I had a Oreo and milk tea swirl ice cream mm -hmm. with a Nutella-lined fish cone. So good. How about you, Luke? What'd you get? I got the same thing with a taro filling. Mm -hmm. What's taro? It's a root. Huh? Uh -huh. We're so Asian. Yeah. Yeah. We're so Asian. What we color eat, is it? We have roots for dessert. Purple. Always. Purple root. Well, Derek, what did you get? I got just milk tea, mm -hmm. uh, soft serve, and I got custard in the taiyaki. So that's it. That's That was our night. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you have recommendations for good burger spots, all right, this is a burger hunt that we're going to pursue with all vigor and passion as much as we possibly can. So be sure to send us those recommendations. We'll search those out. We'll try them out. We'll make another episode about it. Plus, if you guys like this, do us a huge favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bells, all that stuff. But please share. Let other people know about this because we're having a blast doing it. We'd love for you guys to join in and find these amazing spots that are in our own backyard. So signing off on behalf of all of us Asians here. <laughs> yeah, I know all three. Well, percentage-wise, he knows who Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. See ya. Bye.
the red light when you know things are right and you can start recording after a quick clap in of your hands. Okay, we're recapping. <laughs> Buy one <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. It's gonna be the fish. Fish kind. Of